Brisbane City, concrete jungle where kangaroos are made of metal. It's Saturday night, I'm in Brisbane City, I'm feeling a bit peckish, so I made my way down to Funny Funny, a Korean restaurant and bar down in Burnett Lane. And I got myself a six pack, well, I got myself six spicy devil wings. So let me just take a look at what we've got. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that, that is awesome. Korean food always comes with sides. They love their sides in Korea. I'll just put them to the side. Now, they're called spicy devil wings. If you know anything about Korean food, then you know that when they say spicy, they mean spicy. Korean food does not muck about with the spice. A bit like Korean movies, they will just uh, grab you and not let you go. From the get-go to the let-go, you are in for a ride. So, let's see if these uh, devil spicy chicken wings are half of the course. All right, let's just get straight into it. I'm currently on, what street is this? Albert Street? No. Whatever the street, no, it's not even the one with Pancake Manor on. I forget the name of the street I'm on. I'll put it up in a bit. I'm on that street. Yes, we all know that street. Anyway, let's get stuck into the chicken wings. They're really, really soft. Mm, really well cooked. Really juicy. But I have to say, not that spicy. It is, uh, as I said, Saturday night. It's about 1 a.m. There are people on a bench just there, kind of looking at me. I'll have to hand them my business card. These are really nice. However, I'm not sure they're worth the price tag, which was like $13. 13 plus dollars. It's like a reasonable price to pay in a restaurant, I guess, on a Saturday night, if you're drinking with friends, but sitting alone in a car, hmm. I think KFC or Red Rooster offers better value in that arena. Let me check on these sides, because they look quite interesting. Just get them open. So firstly, we have some cabbage and sauce. Sorry, the lighting there is really not very good. I'm just using the light in my car. And next we have the old stalwart in Korean sides, and that is pickled radish. Yum. I'll have a try of that and cabbage. Sitting in a car in the middle of a busy, well, busy-ish street. Probably not the most conducive space to eating. Korean snack, but who cares? Mmm, yum. These are much sweeter than I'm used to. I don't know if that's... Wow, these are really good. Really crunchy, still got the crunch. Bit sweet, but still got the sourness of pickles. Yum. If you're not familiar with pickled radish, they do taste a bit like pickled onions, these ones. So really good if you're drinking. Really good side with the chicken, actually. I'll try the cabbage now. Yeah, it's really fresh, that pickle. That's nice. I could eat an entire jar of that stuff. 
Let's try the cabbage. It looks like fairly standard cabbage with a sauce on top. Hmm. Um, nothing special here. Just tastes like Thousand Island dressing, really. There are quite a few drunken people walking past, and they're probably wondering what I'm doing. But I think it's pretty obvious what I'm doing. I'm eating Korean food in my car and filming it. What's the problem? I think it was pretty obvious that that store doesn't normally do takeaway, but I'm nothing if not a maverick in these sorts of things. This is my favorite part of the chicken wing. Whatever this part is called, the little drumstick bits. Actually, I got, just looking at the ratio, I got, I think three of these little drumstick bits and three of uh, whatever you call this, this bit of the chicken wing, I don't really know. There are two types of chicken wings. These are definitely my favorite. I'll try the patented food sack, this kind of chicken wing eating method. Let's see if it works with these devil spicy Korean wings. So first of all, you just kind of chew a bit off. Oh, that's not really working. It's quite big actually. Mm. I think I held it at the wrong end. So there's two bones in this style of chicken wing. Oh, hang on, where's the other bone? Well, that was missing the extra bit of bone. I don't know how that happened. Maybe Korean chickens have evolved differently. They don't have that extra bit of bone. I don't know. Try it with this one. Here we go. So as you may have seen, you can kind of squeeze it there and the thinner bone just comes straight off. leaving you with the second slightly larger bone with some meat still on it. And again, you just kind of, like a backwards sloping spaghetti motion, I suppose, to take the meat off. That is really nice. All right, I might save some of that for when I get home. The south side is calling me. I've been away for too long, so I need to go back. Brisbane, it's been a blast. Thank you for having me. I uh, took a stroll through the city, saw some sights, saw some amazing people. Just having a brief look, I think that goths are coming back. I think goths are back. So get ready, 2020 is looking good. If the goths are here for 2020, then the emos are not too far away. And I, for one, am excited. I'll catch you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. What's your favorite way of eating chicken wings? Hmm. Have a good one.